In this video, I'm going to be bolting up some Kaiser aluminum sole frames to some Faction Tactical V1 aggressive boots here and taking them for a spin and see how I like them. And also huge shout out to Zach Smith, local homie here in Oklahoma City for letting me use these. These are his and they're like brand new. So thanks, Zach. I appreciate it. So before we go take them for a spin, we're over here on Loco Skates, their website, and uh, we have the Kaiser aluminum sole frame 60s pulled up here. What we're going to be skating, they are currently for sale on Loco Skates for 140 bucks. They do have three different sizes. Um, there are some different rockering that you can have with the largest ones. I'm actually going to be using the 270 millimeter wheelbase ones today as they fall right in line. I'm using size 10 factions and this is for size nine to 11, uh, but they have three different sizes to hopefully fit any size that you may have. But the sole frame 60 is a one piece aluminum frame and sole plate compatible with flat boots only. There's a list of compatible models at the bottom. Uh, Kaiser created the sole frame 60 because the team were allegedly chopping off the frame off their Aeons to use the element two frames so what better way to appease the group of talented young skaters than to create an aluminum unibody piece concept the aluminum used is a 60 61 grade aircraft qu aircraft quality so it's the best money can buy the weight is kept low by a series of grooves on the top of the base which we'll take a look at here in a second the sole and negative space uh is not too large not too small perfect for all around usability the frame part is essentially the kaiser element 260 featuring a maximum wheel size of 62 millimeters flat and uh, removable H block, a plastic slide plate it features uh, on the sole side, which will help when grinding rough surfaces, though it is optional. So these are will line right up with Solomon sole plates, uh, sole plate mounting holes, which is pretty rad. But you may have to do a little bit of boot shaving to make these uh, work with your Solomons if that's what you plan to do. Here's their list of compatible boots from USD. It's really any flat boot like the carbon, carbon free, USD seven. And then we talked about Solomons. And so um, you know, these came out a, a little while back, and so the, the factions are not on here yet, but they are flat boot skates, so should not have any issues skating the factions today on the flat boot. And then Loco has a video uh, talking about the Kaiser aluminum sole frame. So this is metal, so it should be really responsive, really fast. I've never skated metal sole plates. I've never skated metal frames. So this is going to be an interesting sort of experience. The H-block profile does definitely remind me of the Aeon profile. So this will be interesting. We're going to bolt these up, take them to the local park here in Oklahoma City and check out what we got going on with the Kaiser aluminum sole frames. And thanks once again to Zach Smith for letting me use these. If you end up liking the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Let's head out, bolt these up to the factions and see how they work. As far as wheels go, I am going to be using the undercover 50, I'm sorry, they're 60 millimeter 90A team wheels here that are lightly used. I would mention too that these are single sided axles. So you only need one Allen key as they just go right through and go right into the frame itself. Like if these started to wear down for some reason and you wanted to put the left one on the right skate, it looks to me like you could use the same one on both skates if you wanted to rotate it around. Because to me, they look like symmetrical. I can't tell a forward and a back. I could be completely missing it, but they look pretty darn symmetrical to me, so just something I noticed. Yep, line right up. There she goes. Because this space is so thin and it's mounting directly to these flat boot skates, you're gonna, like if, you're, if your bolts are a little bit too long, they're gonna go all the way up and protrude um, and potentially, <laughs> Uh, and potentially protrude into the uh, the heel of the boot. So I'm going to get shorter screw, shorter bolt. I don't know if it's, uh, I'm basically going to be roasted for using this, but um, like the other end of an axle, like if you have a spare end of an axle, I've used these before and had fine success with them. So super short, so we'll see if it works. Yeah, seems like it's just fine. Get the wheels on there now. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely not the lightest setup anymore, but uh, we'll get the other one set up and go out and test them out. It's very breezy and I think it's like 30, I think it's something like 36, 37 degrees, so yeah. It is a chilly one, but we're gonna get the skates on and uh, probably just roll around some transitions, transitions to begin with, um, just to get the, the blood going and then start our standard kind of grinder blading routine. I have kind of a unique 
sound to them. Man, the wind is freaking brutal out here. Skating into the wind is rough, but that's Oklahoma City for you, especially right on the lake. But anyway, um, so far, skating transitions. Uh, lots of power transfer, feel really good, feel really solid. They have a little bit of like a, a unique hollow sound to them, but like, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say that it's bad, it's just kind of unique. It's definitely different, it's definitely new for me. Anyway, so transitions feel good. We're gonna start doing some more grinder blader stuff. We're gonna skate this ledge over here. And uh, yeah, the sliding characteristics, I don't know if it was just the coping or what, but the metal H blocks on here, um, so far on most things have felt decent, but kind of slow. The metal on metal, I don't know. I was expecting it to be really fast. Maybe it's just because this coping hasn't been skated or waxed very much, but kind of a unique sliding characteristic where it feels slow initially, but we're gonna, do a lot more grinder blading to find out. Oh, that was uh, weird. I think maybe, I don't know what was going on there. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, that's okay. Royales. I think it's user error. Ooh. All right, we got our, we got some of our groove tricks in there. Um, I'm gonna start trying soul tricks. I just tried that acid and it felt slow, but we will see. Still feeling a little bit slow, but I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a little more, a little bit more wax, dude. It's so cold. <sighs> a little bit more wax, and we'll see how it fares. Oh. I feel like something caught for a second. I don't know. We'll give it another shot here. Actually, let's go with some kind grind. It feels like something is catching. I don't know if it's right where the metal meets the concrete or what. I'll try the concrete once again. Yeah, I don't know. It just still feels kind of slow, dude. Honestly, this ledge usually slides really well. Every time I've skated it, especially after waxing it, that ledge usually is butter. For some reason today though, man, it's, uh, I don't know if it's the ledge or the, the frames. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably the frames, but um, we're gonna skate the P-Rail. There are little P-Rails here and uh, see how it slides on rails. I did actually give a little 
small layer of wax on the rail already. So we'll see how it skates. That's, that feels fast. <laughs> yeah, that, that felt quick. Yeah, it feels nice and smooth. There's not a lot of like crunchiness to it. It's really consistent. It feels really good actually. I'm uh, suffering from anti-rockeritis where with anti-rocker you really don't have to be as precise with your H-block grinds and so I've missed the H-block a couple times so I need to get more precise. Let's get anti-rocker because I'm lazy dude. Yeah, feels, I'm gonna give it a little more wax. Negative Machio number two. Better. <laughs> Maybe just, I think it's brand new, never used. It might just need to be broken in a little bit, I don't know. Up. Or it might just be that I haven't used the right sole plate very much or at all, I don't know. talk about the frames. All right, just got back from our session. So before we get into it, before I share my thoughts, I want to tell you a couple of mistakes that I made, two mistakes specifically. One, before when I was bolting these up and did my sort of pre-flight check on these things, I tightened up everything and made sure everything was nice and snug, except for these optional plastic sliders. As you can see, I'm missing two bolts. Well, what started happening was that when I was skating right towards the end, I double checked because I felt like some metal was scraping on some of the soul tricks and just stopping me basically in my tracks. Lo and behold, one of these screws was starting to come loose. And that brings me to my second mistake is that I didn't check these. And my second mistake is that I didn't bring an Allen key to fix it, to tighten these if they started coming loose. So what happened was one came loose, I took it out with my finger, skated, it seemed like it helped a little bit on the soul tricks and they slid fine. And then it started happening again. So this one got loose and started cam uh, started coming out. And so I took it out with my, my finger as well. Um, so, and, I, and it seemed like it solved the problem mostly and they started sliding fine again. So when I got back, I tightened these up and that brings me to another sort of observation was that yes, those two mistakes were absolutely my fault and they affected the sliding on a couple occasions, absolutely. But one, it made me think just here a second ago is that these 
um bolts here these mounting bolts are um are very like are not very countersunk is what i'm trying to say so that if they start coming loose or even when you start grinding these down i think it would be pretty easy to expose these bolts and start having that problem over time anyway so that's something so basically before i get into my other thoughts i wanted to say like i'm going to do a follow-up video on these and that actually it actually gives me a good excuse to get back out there and skate these again because again these are optional so i'm going to skate these again and make sure they're nice and snug and these close-ups are with these these are tightened down by the way i made sure to tighten these all the way down uh before i showed you them on camera like this to talk about how countersunk they are or not. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get back out to the park. I'm going to retest them with the plastic uh, sliders and I'm going to test them removed so I can actually take a look and see how they slide, how they perform without the, pla the optional plastic sliders as well. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk about how they perform. So I started off just skating transitions and because these are unibody construction, like the sole plate and the frame are one piece, I think that contributes to them being nice and responsive. Of course, in addition to them being a metal aluminum. So they translated power to the ground really well. It was nice to be on flat again, honestly, like skating flat. I, the thing is I go back and forth because I love anti-rocker for grinding, but I love flat for like just blasting through the park. And these were really, really fun on transitions. Really made the factions feel even more kind of, um, I don't know, just responsive powerful you know translating the power to the ground really well it felt very natural so as far as rolling around that was the most air i've ever got on that little vert wall thing they felt great just cruising around um you know i did notice on the coping i mentioned earlier that the coping just felt kind of slow i will there's it's just these are interesting these are going to take some some getting used to some understanding of what they slide consistently on and what they don't slide consistently on. because i had a pretty broad range of experiences today with how these slid and on what. So skating the coping, just doing a couple backsides on the coping. Um, it was pretty slow, waxed it up, did that front side around the curve and it felt nice and smooth. So I, it felt nice and good. So I think it's just a matter of making sure everything's waxed like anything else, but even still it had a little bit more of a pronounced strange characteristic with these. I don't know, it's kind of weird, kind of an oddball. So these are just mounted to the boot via those two UFS, you can't really see them but just mounted to the boot via those two UFS um, bolts. And so even though they're not, you know, the factions have like eight different bolts to, to bolt up the sole plates, which make it feel nice and solid. Um, but with these, it's just the two UFS bolts, but it felt really good. It felt really, all the landings and everything felt very solid. There is that like unique, so I have skated like speed skates before and like some other like rec skate, whatever metal frame type stuff. And, um, and I couldn't put my finger on it, but that's what it was, was that, it, these gave me that same sort of sensation, that same like audible sort of feedback um, of of metal frames, kind of like a strange hollow sort of thing. But it's kind of cool. It's unique, and I kind of like it. Um, I already kind of hit on the sole tricks as far as grinding goes. The uh, the sole here, it was kind of you know I I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know how much was due to the bolts here being slightly exposed. Or how much it was just due to the frame uh, not sliding super well. I think it might have been just a combination of both, to be honest. But I am going to do a follow-up video, like I said, to just like rule that out and make sure it wasn't it wasn't just the bolts that were contributing to that. But as far as locking on and everything, felt good locking on. Had no issues, especially on negatives. Maybe not especially on negatives, but negatives too. No issues. I will say, actually, now that I think about it, because like the negatives that I did were a little bit on the slow side, just metal on metal. So that kind of rules out any of those mounting bolts. Um, at least that gives me a good idea of what the metal on metal might slide like. Yeah, the negatives um, the negatives weren't super fast, at least not on the rail. Um, the highlight, I'll say, is the groove. You know, historically, I haven't been a huge fan of like a, the Aeon groove necessarily, but these were great. The boot down angle was super good. One thing that was a little bit interesting. Actually, let me just say the metal on metal for the groove here was super consistent, like I mentioned earlier. It just felt like, almost like you were sliding on glass. Very, very like interesting and consistent sliding characteristics. Oh, the boot down was interesting. So here's one takeaway that I had earlier too, is that with this backslide sort of groove here, it's like there was this, because it's so, oh, I have one other takeaway. This just, this angle just reminded me of it. Um, this, uh, backslide groove is, whoops, this backslide groove is really good. It feels really good. The boot down tricks, boot down angle and everything felt really, really good. But there was this strange sensation was like, once you get past a certain tipping point, uh, it was, I don't know why, I think maybe the metal or something, 
but it just felt um strange i don't know you could feel it almost like seesaw over and maybe it's, i think it's just going to take some getting used to um uh, but that was kind of a an odd sensation but honestly groove tricks felt really really good in these today they are hefty i don't know what these weigh but I'm used to the create. I'm, I've been skating the create original China wire cell frames and uh, anti rocker. And tell you just by the sort of armchair sort of feel test here, like these are these are hefty compared to those. So all right, one thing that I did want to mention too is that if you look, uh, we'll do the outside here. Uh, let me so there was a couple times where this happened, and I thought it was a little fluke. It actually happened twice. But if you look on the top of the sole frame here. There's like these little ridges that they cut in to make sure that or to reduce weight. What happened on on two occasions was that when we get a little bit too close together, but it's like they they locked in and wouldn't I almost didn't want to release. I can't seem to replicate it necessarily, but um it happened twice and on the second time it was a little bit like alarming to be honest. Um so I'm not I'm not sure about that or <clears throat> how to resolve that necessarily but that was sort of interesting as well but overall i had a fun time on these for sure i didn't have a fun time skating in super windy 35 degree weather to be honest with you i'm originally from florida so uh, this is not this is not my jam but i had a good time skating again i think the highlight of today was the transitions i'm not a big transition skater i'm not you know i like doing it but i'm not very good at it and i, I don't do it very often but i think that was the highlight of today was Obviously, with these metal frames, lots of power transfer. You're going to, especially riding flat and just riding around the bowl felt really, really good. And the transitions, lots of power. Um, and then the groove tricks. Groove tricks felt super buttery. Had a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, hey, I'm going to get back out. I'm going to retest them with um, tight screws, tight mounting bolts. And then I'm going to remove the plastic bit here, the plastic optional slider and test them without it too. So look, so uh, be looking for that next follow-up video here soon. And uh, yeah, I will link to um, these soul frames down in the description below. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you on the follow-up video. Take care.